The plumbing is still apparently a nightmare. A friend of mine told me the state of the lavatories, even in a top-class hotel in Moscow, is still quite deplorable. And the food. Yeah. Here we go. Changing cars. Every two hours on the hour. Professional watchers, for sure. God. Christ. I could kill you. Stupid, stupid bastard. Oh, give it a rest. Well, why else would the KGB be camped on my doorstep? They're not normally there. And it's since you showed up. Car 11. Car 11. I've arrived at the address. No sign of Sepasal yet. Okay, Harry, just stay there. Kastap is in position. I really don't understand why we are not making contact. Bringing someone in from the field is a delicate operation. They have been out there for 25 years. Now, patience, Major. Patience. Don't lecture me on patience, comrade. This is precisely because of my patience that we actually located this man. So was the bloody same with you, is it, Sergei? Blame everybody but yourself. For all we know, it could be you that traced me? How the basis could they have traced me? You must have led them here, you cretin. Oh, for crying out loud, does it matter? They're here, and that's what we've got to deal with. If you had any sense of decency, you get the hell out of here. They'd follow you and give me a sporting chance to get out of here. All right, Sergei. Okay. That's what you want. Go, oh, come back. Dickhead. I don't know why we don't pick him up now. Because the ID does not go around London in the middle of the night banging on people's doors and dragging them out of bed. It might be considered incompatible with our status as trade officials. You do intend to bring him in, don't you? You lift him now, you might blow his cover. As Jeremy Card, Rubloff has become an international financier. Think about that. That could be invaluable to the Soviet Union right now. That's not for you to decide. My orders are to find them and bring them in. Should I know? Oh, I meant, is it one of them? I don't know. Well, he's not reading a copy of Pravda, but he wouldn't, would he? We could rush him. Don't be such an idiot. <laughs> You have no experience of dealing with an agent in the field. Leave it to a professional. Oh, no. I worked very hard on this. You're obsessive. OK, so you found the guy. So learn to relax. Go out, get drunk, get laid. But for Christ's sake, get off my back. Oh, I see. Just because I don't spend my time getting drunk and getting laid, I'm obsessive, am I? Well, the truth is, perhaps I'm only doing my job. And please allow me to do mine, Major. Where are we going now? There's a window in there. It leads to the car park. Quarter of a century undercover. It will be an honor to be served when we first say hello. <laughs> Push, man, push! Oh, stop, you twat! Bat, overweight bastard! Oh. Push! Oh. Oh. All right, sir. Is something in my room you needed, sir? 
Uh, no, I'm fine, absolutely fine. I'm not fat. That window was very small. Shut up. You're certainly dealing with a class act here. Slow down. Don't make it obvious. You're not leaving without me. I'm staying right with you. Open my side first. He's got central locking, for God's sake. Morris! What? I promised Sharon. Go back and get him. You go. You leave without me. I know you. Oh, for Christ's sake. Philby, of course, had nerves of steel. But at least he was English operating in England. Rublyov must be made of iron to tough it out all these years. What the hell are you doing? We're in a hurry, aren't we? Identification. Male. Unknown. Zelensky. Left hand down, left hand down! It's all over some place. You really do know how to do yours. Day buckle. Day buckle is the word, George. You get special branch to kick in the door of a television producer, haul him off the third degree, seize his goods and chattels, and for what? No good reason that I can see now, sir. Whatever the Russians are up to, I think we're agreed that it will hardly involve interminable footage of the 1966 World Cup final. I would have to concede that, sir, yes. So shall I return the film to the studio, sir? Of course not. They're threatening legal action, sir. Apparently, this is the only footage that shows whether Jeff Hurst's disputed goal was in or not. I sometimes wonder what you have between your ears, George. They've paid a fortune for it. They're very anxious to get it back. What? MI5 says, sorry, here's your film back. Good Lord, man, the press would have a field day. I told the Home Office that it was priority, A1. So burn the bloody thing in the national interest. Right, sir. And George. If you want to stay in counter-espionage, you'd better.
better shape up and find out what the Russians are really up to. Richfield, you're an asshole. You put a major dent in my covert operations budget. Look what you come back with. Major Grishno is still the key to it, sir. So you keep telling me, but a top-notch electronics expert sent in to pick up this heap of junk? Okay, I goofed there, sir. Bet your sweet ass you goofed. That radio's so old, it probably still picks up Tokyo Rose from World War II. You better find out what these Reds are really up to, or you're out on your ass. Well, I probably won't be in the office for a couple of days. No, 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 I'll call in. Okay, bye. Oh, Serena, look, um, bring Alison, will you, and say I'm very sorry, but I can't make this evening. Yeah, okay, bye. Where are we heading for? Little place I've got tucked away. Is this one going to find Morris Marsh? Just a minute, love. We've had rows. But who hasn't? But nothing that should lead to this. He loves the kids. He always has. What do you make to this uh, deception business mentioned in the letter? I don't know. I just don't know. Mrs. Robinson, I don't want you to waste your money. Now, to be brutally frank, if your husband has simply walked out and left you, it's most likely for another woman. Yes, well, that's what everybody reckons. But I know him. I've got a feeling this is something to do with his past. He was an orphan. Oh, was he? But why his past, particularly? I mean, has something come up? Well, it's just that he's always been very truthful, but... He lied to me about why he went to London recently. Mum, I want him to find Morris. Morris? A monkey. My husband took him to London and lost him. Oh, you've got a monkey, have you? He's not a real monkey, he's a toy. Oh. <laughs> Meet Max. Max, Serena, Serena, Max. Very smart. Isn't he sweet? Ready for JC. He collects cuddly toys. Is he in? Uh, no, Ali, not today. And he's left a message for you. Dinner's off, I'm afraid. That's good. That's really good. I'd get that clutch looked at if I were you. Photograph of this woman in your flat as well. Is that her France? Right. Reservations, please. Who is she, Serge? Right, um, what advice do you have to Paris this afternoon, please? She's an old friend. Uh, I'd like to reserve two first class seats, please. I haven't got a passport. Yes, the name's Coward and Robinson. I still need a passport, whichever flight we take. For God's sake, I'm laying a false trail. Yes, sure. Um, what visa do? Well, what are we doing then? If you must know, we're going there. Still there? Yep. They've stopped somewhere in the village. The labs have just rushed these out. 
We're almost certain that second guy is Zelensky. No kidding. Looks like we panicked these guys and they've gone on the run. So, change of plan. We're gonna make contact now. What the hell are they doing with a toy monkey? Perhaps he's the third man. Why don't we go and ask them? We rarely observe the formalities in the village. A Bancroft, David Bancroft, Dave. Uh, Albert Robinson. <laughs> yeah, nice piece, that. Used to warn the old Bishop of Oxford's bed. Oh. Uh. <laughs> no, don't tell me it's the roof again. Pardon? Are you here for the thatched roof? No, no, I... Uh... I'm a friend of, um... Oh, sorry. I saw the car. Is he around? He's upstairs. Uh, rumbling noises about the bypass again, I'm afraid. I'm getting up a petition. Uh, would you care to stick your moniker on it? Strictly speaking, of course, you should be a resident, but the DOT are hardly playing fair. Oh, hello, Dave. How are you? This is Albert Grimsdyke. He used to open the building for Eccles. Built north like. Really? Heckles. Hmm. Um, is that Lancashire League standard? Uh, just about. Uh, I've been asked to uh, skip at the village side again next season, rather hoping that Thrasher Coward will be around a bit more to prop up the middle order. Any chance that you might be able to pop down with him for the odd fixture? Oh, I've not played for ages. Afraid we're nothing special, but old Smudger Smith can still make him fizz up off her length. I'd like to see you two in tandem. Oh, sorry, urgent message on the car phone. Come on. Uh, Come on! Surely it's quite simple. We walk up to the front door, ring the bell and say, Good morning, we are from the KGB, remember us? Oh, for Christ's sake, will you let me handle this? Yes, if you'll get on with it. Sir, on some move. Sounds the right. Yeah, I got it. You wait here. For God's sake, what's going on? They bugged the car. They can't be far away. Oh, Christ. All right, relax. I got shot of it. I bowled them a bit of a googly, actually. 
and we needed eight off the last over and it was just the sawbones and me uh -huh. but he's well over 60 and not so nippy on his pins right. <laughs> don't say dave <laughs> so uh i just gave it the old heave ho and out it popped <laughs> yeah yeah they're, they're terrific aren't they until you lose them <laughs> yeah yeah Whoa, 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 what do you know? Here it is. Gosh, that's <laughs> lucky. Yeah. No, don't put it in there. Come I, inside and we'll okay. give it a rinse. No, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. No, honey. I really think you ought to clean it. He's always losing things. Aren't you, dear? The 1979 team was a vintage side. Do you know, it took the Chipping Norton second 11 to beat us. I <laughs> don't say. Oh, look, honey. Isn't that Jeremy? Do you know, Jeremy? Old Thrasher Coward? Well, blow me. Yes, in fact, he's the reason we're here. He's a very old friend of ours. Oh, and a good friend of the village, too. Uh, largely due to Jeremy that we still have a roof on the church. He took the restoration fund and trebled it in some city deal. Oh, we were in the area. Thought we'd drop in on old Thrasher and see him. But we haven't got his address. Problem solved. You swapped 90,000 pounds worth of precision engineering for this. It stands to reason. If they booked your Maserati, they know what it looks like. Yes, I knew it. I knew it. From the first moment you got in touch, no messing. I should have killed you. Oh, stop moaning. It's taxed. It's got six months MOT. What more do you want? In fact, they were put in much later, after Cromwell had knocked it about a bit. There is, however, one surviving Norman arch uh, round the back. Uh, come on, lots to see. <laughs> Dave, thanks. Now, I really can't let you go without seeing the nave. Quite unique of its period. I'm sure it is, Dave, but we are most keen to see Jeremy. I'm sorry, Dave, we're on a bit of a tight schedule, but this sure is one hell of a historic village. Uh, indeed, but one under threat from the new motorway, I'm afraid. I wonder, would you care to sign my petition? <laughs> yeah. Scotland before. I'm looking forward to it. Yes, so am I. I had rather hoped I might be up there sometime this year. Get over. I'm throwing them right off the scent. Yes. Yes, all right. But surely you could have struck a better deal than this. I mean, a Jag or a Merc or something. Never been a speed much. Better to be late in this world than early in the next. Hey, look. They're going to Scotland. Let's give them a lift. Don't be idiotic. It's more camouflage. Four in this rig, and we never get there, will we, you clown? Uh, only Scotland, does it go? No, Glasgow. Sorry, it's not on our route. Of course it is. Hey, girl, girl, come back. Up in. All right. <laughs> As I say, he dashed off in a bit of a hurry. Obviously not back yet. I guess you're right, Dave. Oh, well. Can't be helped. Many thanks, Dave. A pleasure to have met you. Yeah, indeed. I uh, hope to see you another time. Any friend of Jeremy's? Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> yeah, well, thanks a lot, Dave. Uh, bye. Bye. <laughs> bye.
You wasted weeks of painstaking work. You had them, and you let them go. You are the professional. What do you suggest we do now? I suggest that we take a look inside this place. Afternoon. Oh, good afternoon. <laughs> An electric blanket and half of a kitchen house of here. The most important thing to tell her is that if she sees anyone watching the house, she's to go straight to the police. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Running off, taking up with this crowd? Yeah, well, it's, uh, it's a bit difficult to explain, really. Come on, Percy, lad, let's get off home! Tell her I love her! Oh, God. I forgot to give him Morris. That just makes the perfect end to a perfect day. Yeah, Albert George Robinson. <laughs> You'll need to go to St. Catherine's House, Kingsway. I need a copy of his birth certificate, etc. Men. Bloody, bloody men. They're all bastards. All of them. I'd go a bit easy if I were you. Jeremy left me such a sweet message on my answer machine. It's not really him, you see, it's me. I'm a disaster area. I terrify them. Tell a man I care for them and they run a mile. Come on, Annie. That's yeah. true. Charles even left me to become a bloody Jesuit priest. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't imagine Jeremy's done that. No. I bet he's run off to New York. Sod. Oh, poor Jeremy. Upstairs.
Can't some breakfast. What's Lord and Hard do? Down there, polluting the river. Bacon, eggs, black pudding, sausages, tomatoes, fried bread, fresh orange juice, cross oil, black coffee, Blue Mountain freshly ground. Hmm. How easy will it be to hire a boat up there, sir? Oh, I know some people. I've got the cash. Part of problem. What will we do when we get to Ireland? I don't know about you, we'll have to be going to America. Feel like for some, innit? Oh, stop whinging. If it wasn't for me, we'd be having red cabbage for breakfast. Bye! See you, bye! They're going! Christ! Left the money in the car! Jesus! Thank God. You and your bloody money. Not everyone's on the make, you know. <laughs> ah, they were good lasses. Well, it is to be young, eh? Catch us if you can. Catch us if you can. Shot over Morris, there's a good chap. So we've got a long way to go. We will continue round the clock surveillance on his flat and on his office but low profile. And I mean low profile. I also want us to discreetly find out in the city everything that we can about Jeremy Coward. Okay, get on with it. Is that all? We were unlucky. No, we weren't. We blew it. Too much of this peace shit. We've lost our edge. But those guys haven't. After 25 years, they're razor sharp. We still don't know whether they're loyal or they've been turned. We don't know what kind of dangerous lunacy they're up to. We don't know jack shit, Kostov. God. Damn, Andre Zorin. What the hell was that old screwball up to? What does it mean? Zorin and us were killed. He killed many of them, who were on the same job to do it. Does he have time? Does he have time? On si čas volím stajat v kilometrový očeredi za chlebom. Do you respect me? <laughs> yes, of course, very much so. But do you think I'm obsessive? Well, uh, not really. Victor thinks I am. He probably means you make it obvious this operation is very important to you. But surely it's important to all of us. Hmm. But work isn't everything. What do you mean? For instance, I'm always asking you out, but you never... Perhaps you don't respect me. I do. I 
think you're fine. In such case, I've got tickets for some new Ekbond play. <laughs> but I bet you won't come. I will. I'll be delighted. You call to Moscow on Scrambler's ready, Major. Oh, well. Back to work. Bloody hell, slow down, Sergey. God, there's some arseholes on the roads these days. Head. All right. I bet he's all right. He'll be laughing his chuffing socks off. Ah, well, he, he just wanted Sandra to know, like, he's obviously very worried about her. Worried about her? Don't make me sick. He's left her with three kids to clothe and feed. I'll give him worried when I get hold of him. Did you know this chap he was with? No, I've never seen any of them before. Them? Who else was there? Yeah, well, uh, they were with a couple of lasses. What do you mean, lasses, Percy? Young girls. Fancy hairdos, you know. Mini skirts and that. What did I tell you? And right tarts, by the sound of it. Well, at least it looks like we might be getting to the bottom of this. I think we're finally getting somewhere, sir. This vicar is a long-time member of CND. His wife was at Greenham Common, and he's been stirring up trouble with his local motorway business. The playwright went up there with a team and spent over an hour with him. Yes. Took three personnel and two cars. I think I'd have Chekhov and the others slung out for this, but I'd like to know more about this vicar, George. No plods smashing indoors this time, though. Right, sir. I mean it, George. I don't want any trouble with the blessed bishops. Understood, sir. Well, oh, and George, you're certain that the cousins haven't got a sniff of this one? Doubt it. Expect they're in the dark, as usual. Carl? Sir? Soviet agents Grishna and Chekhov arrived in the village at 1327 hours. They seemed to be looking for something. They spent some time questioning this guy. But what they were really interested in was this place. Now, they were looking through the windows and they checked out the front and the back. Sir? Thank you, Carl. And thank you, Agents Schwartz and O'Reilly for the happy snaps. Now, the cottage is owned by an Englishman by the name of Jeremy Coward. He's an executive director of an American investment bank. So, we have a legitimate interest here. Carl? Carl! Affirmative, sir. It's becoming clear what the Reds' game plan is. In this new era, they're switching from military to financial and industrial espionage. And this guy, Coward, is obviously a prime target. All we know is he said he'd phone in and he hasn't. He's not at any of his regular numbers and his car phone has been discontinued. Plus, last night he missed a very important dinner engagement concerning his transfer to the New York office. He was moving to New York? Yes. He asked to go. Look, I'm taking no chances here. Roger, I want you and Allison to conduct an immediate internal audit of all his portfolios. I warn you, it's not a Maserati. You have to drive a car like this with care, Sergei. Ferrari. Huh? It was a bloody Ferrari. And stop calling me Sergei. My name is Jeremy. Will you once and for all get that into your fat, stupid head? I don't call you Vladimir. If you call me Sergei just one more time, 
I'm going to strangle you with my bare hands. All right. We're not going to get it fixed like this, are we? Can we expect the pleasure of your company again soon, Major? That's a matter for the Directorate. My orders are to return to Moscow immediately. Sorry, I'll miss the theater, Igor. They want me to make a full report. Now you must send me a copy. Can't wait to read it. Fantastic. Bloody fantastic. Are you sure? Well, you got nothing for that name and date of birth at all. Yeah, okay, right, thanks. That's what I owe you. Yeah, we're just here for a couple of days, you know, needed a break. I will. I expect I'll be seeing you for a couple of drums. Yeah. Ugh. I'll just find you a wee box, and your man here can carry them out to the car, Mr. Jeremy. Thinks I'm your bloody servant. I really can't imagine why. Yeah, Where's the meat pies? You save a crust from me. I'll be back in a minute. Yeah, all right. The currents are treacherous out there this time of year. We haven't come 12,000 miles before up by a little current. <laughs> Us McKinleys were made of harder stuff than that. It's not your courage that's in question. It's the risk to the boat. Our ancestors came from that island. Money's no object. Oh, well, no. We can't insult your ancestors, can we? We don't hear it, sir. Thanks, mate. See you then. Well, well, Donald. How's the trips around the bay business then, eh? Not exactly a bull market. How are you, old scumbag? In the pink. In the pink. Come on, I got a little proposition for you. To my lovely. Wait a minute. All right, Dave. Gosh, you were quick. Lucky for you, we were just passing. Been a spate of break ins tonight. Just nicked another joker having to go old Thrasher Coward's place. Hi, George. Time. I was going to pop round tomorrow and pay you what I owe you. It's pretty clear now why you left. Yeah, maybe, but uh, the reason I called by is that some rather surprising facts have come to light. The orphanage that your husband claimed to have been brought up in never even existed. Well, it must have done. Are you sure? I'm positive. And I can find no record for him 
to any other orphanage in the whole region. He's definitely an orphan. He's got no family at all. No other relatives whatsoever. I reckon there's something very odd going on here. Ironically, I'm just beginning to get rather fond of someone when this lot blew up. C'est la vie. Shame. But that woman in the photo, she meant a lot to you, didn't she? Maybe. It's a long time ago. I don't mean to pry, it's just that I noticed. Actually, I was thinking of marrying her. It's all right for you. Told everyone you were an orphan. People accepted it. But Jennifer's family was minor aristocracy. A potential husband had to have a background. Breeding. What do his people do, Jenny, darling? Well, his daddy's awfully big in Siberia, and his mother drives a tractor in the Ukraine. <laughs> Surely Zolin gave you a good cover. Oh, yes, first rate. Not one that would stand up to the scrutiny of the English upper classes. You know, you're never really accepted till they know precisely who you went to school with. No, I had no choice but to end it. <laughs> yeah, but if you loved each other... Don't be naive. Keeps flashing. That's just one of the boats. Oh. You know, in a lot of ways, I wish I'd never been chosen by Zorin. Stayed in Russia. On the other hand, there'd have been no Sandra, no kids. <laughs> They'd love it up here. Look, why don't we stay? They never find us here. We're getting out of here, comrade, and as soon as possible. Fancy on the spot? Yeah, why not? Silly question. <laughs> 